My friends, uh, this is a very, very dangerous country to be in. This is a country where they do the stuff. Very angry crowd. The roommate that you see, that you have not seen, okay? This guy is, this guy is a loser like you wouldn't believe. He's an ex-prisoner. He was a police officer. He was imprisoned. He is all depressed in his crazy world supported by a bunch of other violent thugs in this center on behalf of the Polish police, on behalf of Warsaw because none of this stuff would be happening without Polish police, without the Warsaw, none of this stuff would be happening I would never ever go and touch somebody, hurt somebody for doing the stuff like this, knife that I would use, this is just crazy, this is insane. Not in a million years I would even think about it. And I said to myself, you know, stuff they do like this, in this immigration center, stuff like this they do it. I was thinking about what would they done to me if they would get me somehow in the jail? If I would do something and they would get me behind the bars. You know, this very, very angry country, this, the people here, not the people here, but the government here, this is a bunch of losers that the world have not seen. They're dangerous, very dangerous. This is a very, very dangerous place. A very dangerous situation in fact scary scary situation it is now just a random thoughts related to this knives that they play with this cutting this berserk game they go for I sleep now with everything including deodorant including Shaving blades I bought yesterday. They just they have stolen me and not even inside of the immigration center, but at the place where I took these ladies, these old ladies, they they have stolen me three cartridges of shaving blades, not exactly Gillette but from Hofer, you know, really quality shaving blades and I didn't have anything to shave with other than three other shaving blades which a roommate have bent in a such a way that if you would use them you would pull off your skin I only did once and I had a pain like for like three days afterwards you would really think about whether you want to use that at all and then I had just two blades left which I really have used for like the last five months. That's pretty bad. Just think about two shaving blades for the for five months. And so anything you leave out, anything they can get a hold of it. The only thing that happens is that they'll cut. They'll just go and they'll cut everything, whatever they can get a hold of it. I got a friend here, <laughs> a beautiful friend, okay, um, so not even 24 hours didn't last, not even 24 hours, um, anything you buy, anything, anything you purchase, the only thing that happens is knife. That's the only thing, knife, 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 or if you leave the food outside, coffee, everything I have goes right under my pillow. Uh, if, you, if you leave that outside, the only thing that's going to happen is they're going to contaminate with the chloride, whatever they use, chemicals, they will sip you that shit inside, you're going to be in a tremendous trouble. During the first visit, immigration, border patrol visit to our place 
here in Grotniki, they came from Łódź. There also was an individual who was interested in why do I have my things inside of the backpack, why do I go with a backpack and stuff like that. He kind of pointed in that direction. Uh, now you understand why. How they have translated me this, I had to play stupid. Uh, I had to play stupid most of the time because uh, they, they tell you if you're gonna say you take food with you and stuff like this and then you're gonna be out of the immigration system before you even know and whether I like it or not I had to play stupid but I'm not playing stupid anymore because it's becoming it became completely evident who is behind all this stuff it became completely evident about what's going on so, folks extremely extremely violent people like super violent like you wouldn't believe how violent if i would be different in any way i would have been a hundred times dead already yeah I have seen guys that would go off uh, and the only thing I remember is the only thing they did is they, they just you know removed them out of you know out of the process uh, once they crossed the line you know they had like a physical conflicts and stuff they removed them out of the process and in life not a good things have happened to them afterwards they, they totally destroyed them a guy from Wisconsin, from US. Yeah, people like Donald Trump just believe they have the right to do that stuff. That, that actually contributes to, you know, to his uh, whatever they are doing. You know, whatever they are doing. When I went on meeting on the 21st, and my uh, my debit card was not, was not accepted on a tram and I had to walk 30 kilometers in the rain you know the hell that something strange is going on right because that's a debit card that's bank issued card the money I realized it was still like 37 zloty on the account and I only need like zlot and half something like that you know that something isn't right, you know that something is wrong when you got banks basically declining the right to use even debit card and stuff like that. You know this is a big thing and stuff like this only lets me know that they are still doing some dirty stuff, they are still transmitting this thing to the US, whatever, to who, whoever, whoever they are doing. There's still, there's still a money game behind all this. Trump. That's all there is to it.